Hey guys, welcome back to Home Theater Gurus. This is another Q&A, and this one comes from episode one, which is uh, on the bed layer, setting up the bed layer. So Thunder Racing says, great video. Quick question, I have an open concept living area, and I don't have the option to have speakers on the walls. I have two options, but not sure what direction to go. Option one, 5.2 bookshelf speakers on stands, but would not be able to keep speakers there permanently only only during movie listening. Option two, 7.2, place speakers in ceiling using paradigm angled speakers. And thank you. All right, so this one's a toughie. It looks like, you know, he's not worried about Atmos, which is perfectly fine. And in this setup right here, it's probably a good thing. So assuming you can get your, your mains and your center at the bed layer, which that would be very important to have those down there by, you know, your, your screen. So that way your, your vocals and everything are at least gonna be anchored to the screen. So as far as having a 7.2 or a, or a 5.2, you know, having surrounds is gonna be the five, seven is gonna add rears. I would say just put them on the ceiling. I mean, in a room like this, you've gotta be able to live in it. It is not practical to be pulling speakers out every time you wanna watch a movie. You know, with the five channel, he's talking about, I guess he'll have have them up against the wall and he'll have the wires coiled up and he'll pull them into place or he'll have well he can't have anything on the wall so maybe he just puts them in a closet when he's not using them that's not practical I mean, you got to be able to enjoy the space i mean if it was me in this room i would just put them on the ceiling yeah I, I just would i wouldn't worry about it you know you're not gonna have perfect sound in every room you've got to be practical you've got to live in the room and you just need to enjoy it and I've heard setups like, like this, I mean, and it still sounds great. I mean, I'll tell you this, in my living room, uh, before I had my LCR set up, which I actually use a Triad LCR sound bar because we wanted a nice clean look, but it's a three channel sound bar and they're spread, you know, as wide as the TV is. So there's a little width to, to the mains. Before I had that, I just had ceiling speakers that were gonna be used as Atmos speakers in the future. Oh, and it sounded pretty dang good. I used those as my left and right and, you know, with no center, so I would get a phantom center image. And we watched plenty of TV series, you know, me and my wife. We had that rolling in there for a couple months before we had anything on the bed layer. Sounded good. No objects were not placed right. Yes, if you really paid attention, you, you know, you know they're coming. They're not coming from the screen. But we enjoyed it. And that's all that matters. So if you can get the LCR on the bed layer, I would go ahead and do a seven uh, channel, you know, just kind of spread them out as much as you can, you know, try not to get them as overhead, you know, right overhead, you know, like an Atmos speaker, just try to get them out if you can, go ahead and put the ones behind you and try to push them back as far as you can, but you have to, you know, you have to stay within the dispersion of your speakers. He's talking about the paradigm angled speakers, which is probably like the PADAs, you know, the Pro ADA, which is an angled 30 degree baffle. You know, those are some good speakers, pretty good wide dispersion. That's actually what I'm using in my living room. So, you know, with a speaker like that, you know, you can push them a pretty good ways and get decent sound. Uh, so I would just say, enjoy it. Make sure you can live with it. Don't worry about it being set up perfect. If you can get the LCR on the bed layer, do what you can on the ceiling for your surrounds and rears. You can't do Atmos, you know, you, you know that. Unless you can get surrounds and rears down, you know, close to the bed layer, Atmos is not going to be a, an option that's going to sound great. So I wouldn't even bother with it. Just set the room up like that and enjoy it. So if it was my room, that's what I would do. Understand your compromises. And if you can live with those compromises, just enjoy the room. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, give this video a like if you have any comments or questions, especially for like another Q&A or one of the Q&As coming up. Leave your question down in the comments section. Look through the description. Uh, we've got a lot of affiliate links. Those do help the channel. So if you see something down there, you know, maybe something you're already going to buy, please use the affiliate links. Again, they help the channel immensely. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you all for the next one.